Good afternoon. Yes, hopefully my audio is going to be stronger this time. I actually got a lavalier mic, which you can see below the camera. <laughs> Do things differently. Okay, so welcome to episode 446. And today's topic is going to cut to the chase. This is about the Me Too conversation in particular, um, about men in a way manning up, stepping up, because truth be told for us men, and I'm going to quote this and tell you where I quote it for a minute, the title is, if we're a bystander, we're an enabler. And so this is going to go deep, I think, and it's going to hopefully be provocative, I believe. Again, this is all unscripted, so we'll see what happens. So welcome to my broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. Um, I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which is why I do these talks in the first place. Every day for the last year and several months, I've done this talk called Messages to the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And I started talking about this stuff before the Me Too movement. I'm not, okay, let me be careful. I'm not saying I'm special, but I started talking about respecting women after the elections. That was in 2000, end of 2016. So this broadcast, this regular daily broadcast was inspired way back because of this. So I figured in a way, because I've been watching actually, um, I'm watching a four part series that actually a friend, sorry, the husband of a friend of mine has been doing called Man Enough. And I posted the episode four on my um, wall earlier today, um, last night. And it's talking about the Me Too movement. And they said something in it, which I'm quoting in the title, which is, if, if we as men are bystanders, we are enablers. So I want to speak to this because I'm aware of my own guilt in this area. I'm also aware that most men are, the carry, are not aware they're carrying the guilt because they need to own up to this so we can change the conversation. So let's jump in, shall we? Um, oh, by the way, yes, sorry, I didn't say this part. I remember the proper scripting of the intros. So, Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, Daily Talks. This is episode 446, which is titled Me Too. Uh, men stand up or step up. If we're a bystander, we're an enabler. So, and I said we, not you. So, just to be clear, I'm including myself in this conversation. The Me Too movement changed everything for a lot of people. And also for a lot of people, it didn't do anything because they're oblivious. So I'm crossing a line in this part, also crossing um, fields, aspects, because there's two sides of this conversation. The reality is this, that I would speak to, and I've talked about it for a long time, is that women, women have been disrespected by men for eons. And the rape culture has been around for a long time too, except that the Me Too conversation brought it to the surface. It has been below the surface for years, many years in fact. And so I'm feeling this nudge, this urge to speak about it a bit more, particularly about what we men can do differently. Um, if you're a perpetrator, you don't have to be placed in this conversation because if you're a perpetrator, you need to get help, period. That, that, I'm not even going to go deep in that one. But what I'm speaking to is the bystander, the bystander approach because almost, almost every man is a bystander in this conversation if they're not a perpetrator or an active solution seeker. Because there are people out there, are men out there, who are actively seeking solutions, like the guys who are part of the Man Enough video series. And I believe in my messaging for the last 444, 446 broadcasts, have been part of the solution too, to educate, to awaken, to speak about this. And yes, most of my talks are about enabling and inspiring women to own their feminine power and leadership and all these things, which I love to do. It's not in a vacuum. This conversation does include men, and I haven't necessarily spoken that many times, and I've spoken sometimes, but that many times directly to men to speak to us collectively about how we can be part of the solution as well, to respect women as well. Because the reality is that when women are equally respected and honored as they deserve and as they are supposed to be, the sexual harassment and even the rape culture would shrink. It may not go away completely, unfortunately, because there are men that won't get the lesson. I mean, must be clear about this. There are plenty of men out there who don't give a flying whatever about anybody else except themselves. They aren't woke, as it were. They're not educated, they're not aware, they're not conscious, they're not awakened, whatever the words I want to use. So this is a, um, a wake-up call, an invitation to all men out there, because I know I've been around, and I spoke, I spoke of this a little while ago, but how I noticed even in my spiritual community, some of the men get together and they say things do innuendos, comment about women going by, which are in the same bucket as disrespecting women. And it isn't all the men in the circle doing that, 
but we don't stop it. So I'm putting out the invitation, the request, the challenge to other men who may be watching this, that when you are in groups of other men where they may be making private or secret or innuendo-based catcalls at the women, because that's what it's about, that you interject, that you say no, that you say something on the lines of, gents, disrespecting women is what you're doing, it's not benefiting anybody and it's part of the Me Too culture. I invite you to step up, I invite you to refrain, I invite you to think about what you're thinking and saying about these women. Because many men, even in this conscious community, even this awakened, up-leveled brotherhood and sisterhood, are still falling in that trap. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not immune to this myself. I have definitely witnessed this enough times where I didn't say something. And in fact, when I did say it once, I felt very uncomfortable doing it. So I'm not saying it's easy. But I am saying that there's a, there's a need for us to do this more and more, particularly for the men. Women too, because, the, because again, let me, refra- let me pre-frame something, which is the Me Too conversation is not just men who have hurt women, but I'm speaking to the part of it that is, even though Me Too has worked both ways. So I'm speaking to this from the point of view that men who are around other men who have little or no respect of women. Because frankly, this is an area we have to grow into. It's an area we haven't educated ourselves in. It's an area we haven't raised up our perspective on. This perspective is a good word. So for other men watching this again, and for the ladies who are watching this, please share it with your men. This may or may not help them. And they may be pissed off at me for saying this, so say la vie. But my point is to say that we as men have a role to fulfill, which a lot of us are not doing. One is to stand up for women in the first place, which is what I believe I'm doing, is what I do in my work, and a lot of women know that I do that. The second part, though, is to call other men to task, to call other men to account, to invite other men to step into that place of respect too, because a lot of them are forgetting it. And that is a really unfortunate thing. And it's contributing to the white, to the Me Too conversation, the Me Too problem, let me put it that way. Because this is the thing, that those people who've been outed and been penalized and been um, prosecuted, perhaps, in, indeed, for Me Too actions, or actions that have hurt women, disrespected women, demeaned them, sexualized them, whatever that was, have, that's like one, one one-hundredth of one percent of the men out there. And maybe that's one percent of the men who do this, but there are many more men who don't, but aren't doing anything about it. So that's what I'm saying. For the men who are not doing this, the men who are not um, stepping up, you can't sit down and ignore this. What's happening in the world requires all of us to step up. Now, I want to change gears slightly because this is something that a friend of mine posted earlier that I have said I've talked about before. The thing for us men Yes, to call other men to account, definitely. To say to other men, if you, if you notice them doing things of sexualizing women, to go out, like, say, dude, dude, seriously, respect, appreciate, honor, but stop doing what you're doing. That's one part of it. The second part is when we're interacting with women, when we men are interacting with women, particularly when they are sharing their challenges, their hurts, their wounds, their pain, because maybe they're sharing with you as a confidant, men, about what happened to them walking down the street, or when they were at a party, whatever it was. The worst thing we men can do is to ignore what's been going on. And and let me let me unpiece that, sorry, let me say one thing. We um let me say this another way. Let me say from this point of view. The biggest thing we can do as men when we're around women is to listen without judgment. And in the conversation around Me Too, especially then, to listen without judgment. To listen, to have compassion, and to hold space. Those three things, listen, hold space, and have compassion. You're welcome, Heather. Thank you for the feedback. Um, Sorry, I went deep somewhere else with that one. So yes, so (laughs) listen, have compassion, and hold space are the three things that we can do best for women. The things you don't do, try to fix, change the subject, deny them or shut down those four things are things you don't do as men with women if you want to get any further ahead 
No, if you don't give a flying whatever, you can do one of those four things and walk away, it's fine. Hopefully she'll find a better man who will listen to her because she deserves it. So f the biggest piece we can do as men, and this is also what I was talking about with, or listened to for the uh, Man Enough stuff, the Man Enough video stuff, bro uh, broadcast that I was watching the four, I've watched all four episodes and I posted the last one last night, if you're watching on my wall. I talked about this as a, well they talked about it so I'm repeating it, in the sense that our biggest opportunity as men is to lend our ears to our women, to listen, again, hold space, and to be present. Is that what I said? Presence? Yes. Let me just recover all the three that I mentioned. And this is the game changer for a lot of men. This is not something they'd normally done, and it's a big piece that's missing because, frankly, for all of us, for all of us, there's room for growth. And as I mentioned at the beginning, this Me Too conversation is both ways. There are men who suffered as well as women who suffered, but this is primarily for the majority of men who aren't doing anything about the fact that women are suffering. And I'm saying, men, it's time to get involved. It's time to step up. It's time to participate in the solution and not contribute either actively or passively to the problem. I think I made my point. Um, this one's kind of a short one because it's not, it's not necessarily an educational one. It's more as an informative, well, hopefully it is educating. Edu 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 Let's see what it, it does. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, these are my daily talks. This one's more of a blunt point sharp it's like a blunt instrument to wake people up <laughs> but i'm hoping this has landed for people um if you have any questions comments please put them in below and i'll respond if i'm online if if it's afterwards i'll respond in the comments afterwards um by the way if you're watching this on youtube it was on facebook live first it's why i responded to somebody who was um commenting on the screen um and if you were listening to, on, listening to this on my podcast that explains why you don't know what, what's going on <laughs> So, um, with that, is there anything else I want to say about this? I have covered it. There's basically, there's a lot more to talk about that goes deeper than this. And if you want to get involved and have a conversation, let me know. But this basically covers the highlights. This is the simple cliff notes of what we can do differently, what we need to do differently. And then we can change the culture. It's time to change what we've been doing. Um, thank you, Heather. Sharp to the point like acupuncture, healing. You're very welcome. Thank you for the feedback. I appreciate the Heather. So to let you know you can find me and what you can check out my work, um, and I'll drop a little a couple of quick promotion in here too, just so you know what's coming. So again, this is on Facebook Live initially, and it goes onto my business page on Facebook. Um, as in other things don't go on that page much except for these, so you can find it on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. It also goes onto YouTube, as I mentioned, and that channel is, is Barry Selby. The playlist is Messages from the Masculine, and they're all there. And you can also listen to my podcast now. And the podcast on iTunes is Messages for the Masculine. You can subscribe, download my broadcast there. Um, I'm slowly adding them in. So there's only about 40 so far. I've got more to do. I'm way behind. But I'll be adding more. This is number 446 of my daily talk. So now you know that one. A um, couple of quick promotions, reminders. If you are stuck in this area, you want some help, support, and guidance around love and relationships as well, I do offer a daily dis discovery session. Sorry, Karen. Thanks for asking your fellow men to step up. Only the guys who are awakened enough will hear this call. That's true. Yeah, you're right. So, sorry. Yes, Heather. I can say the names more slowly. Thank you. I'm rushing into this. <sighs> Hi, Gina. You, I'm, you're, I'm just wrapping this up. So listen from the beginning, please, and share it with any men you can should watch this. Um, it, this this was to the point, I believe. And as someone said, like acupuncture, sharp to the point. Um, so you can follow my, my business page on Facebook is barryselby.author. That's my business page, as my personal page is where this is initially broadcast. On YouTube, my channel, as is all my social media, is my name, which is Barry Selby. And the channel, excuse me, the playlist on YouTube for my broadcast is, um, Bar is Message from the Masculine. Oh, the video I shared from my memories earlier on was spot on. Thank you, Gina. Yeah, that was, that's in a similar vein. So yes, if you, by the way, on my personal page, I have been reposting memories from last year. And because I've done this broadcast for a year and a half now, they're popping up. So I've shared a couple of them. So watch the one from early today as well. Thank you for that, Gina. So I, YouTube, channel Barry Selby, playlist mes messages from the masculine. iTunes, the channel, excuse me, podcast is messages from the masculine. Thank you, Gina. Um, and you can subscribe to that channel. Um, and also two things, if you want help in love and relationships, so you want help, guidance, support in your life, if you go to barryselby.com, actually you can go to the Love Confidence, my old name, you go to barryselby.com and click on Let's Chat on the left-hand side of the menu. 
messages messages from the masculine thank you for asking yes messages from the masculine same as in the title for this broadcast I I, I prefer preface each one with messages from the masculine and then the uh, episode number so this is 446 um, so yes so on my website barrysober.com the left hand side you can click on let's chat if you want to have a discovery session with me and also if you want to practice more self-love because a lot of people do need help in the area of loving themselves I have a self-love practice, which so if you go on my website again, barryselby.com, about halfway down the menu is a thing as a self-love practice. Click on that, check it out, and then get it for yourself if you want it. That simple. This is a talk I have been pen it been brewing for a while. I didn't plan on doing it, but I, it was an um, intersection of some various things, including the Man Enough episodes I've been reposting, which I posted last night, and a friend of mine posting about this listening capacity for men to hold space and listen. This posted today that just inspired me to do this talk about me too. So, I thank you for watching. Thanks for the feedback and the comments. If you have any questions, comments afterwards, put them below and I'll respond after I sign off. And if you want to follow me, there's a button somewhere on the screen that lets you click on to be notified when I go live because I will be back in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. That'll be 5 p.m. Pacific time. Same time, same channel. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.